Uh, hello, my name is Kyle Pira, and today I'm going to be uh, making this video here to explain what exactly a web crawler is and how they work. So, what exactly is a web crawler? Well, kind of the textbook definition here from Wikipedia is a web crawler is an internet bot which systematically browses the World Wide Web, typically for the purposes of uh, web indexing. Uh, basically, it's just something that's going to move from web page to web page. It's going to collect data. It's going to extract links. It's going to place uh, the URLs it finds on the web into a crawl queue, uh, which is just a queue of URLs that it's found to crawl next. Uh, basically, it's just a, a software that goes page to page, extracts the content, downloads it, see if there uh, finds any links uh, in there, and continues on. So kind of here is what a web crawl would look like. Uh, you're going to start with your seed and or root site or root page. And uh, that can be any page, you know, it doesn't need to be anything specific. Uh, it just has to have links on it. Uh, most pages on the internet do have links, you know, whether it's a link that's in the body content or a link that's in the menu or uh, link that's in metadata. Usually they have, most pages on the internet have at least one link uh, coming from them. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, so what the web crawler is going to do is it's going to extract those links and it's going to follow them uh, to new pages. And that's what we're going to call the first level um, of discovered pages. So you see there it follows the hyperlinks and finds those pages, and on those pages it's going to do the exact same thing. It's, uh, it's going to extract the content of the page, and it's going to uh, find any links in there, extract those, and it's going to follow those. Uh, and then it's going to go on to its second level of discovered pages, and it'll just keep going on and on and on and on forever, hypothetically speaking. <clears throat> uh, now, depending on the web crawler, it might also extract media files. Like in this case, we can see on the uh, the second level page there, it's, it looks like it found a page that had a video file on it. Uh, that down there at the bottom, it looks like it found a page that had some JPEGs there. And, you know, depending on the crawler, it might, it might extract those, it might do something with the data. Uh, you know, it, it really all depends on what the specific web crawler is. So, what exactly are these web crawler things used for? Uh, well, a lot of them are used for crawling for metadata. That's probably the most uh, popular, most the, the biggest use of these uh, things. But uh, a lot of search engines also use them for crawling the web for specific content, things like images, text, video, uh, or a specific file type like uh, doc. PDF, MP3, you know, you could use MP3 uh, if you wanted like a music search engine or something. Or you could use a web crawler uh, to crawl a database or an internal file structure. Uh, like uh, you might use a web crawler to crawl a Wikipedia dump, uh, for example. Uh, so who uses web crawlers? Well, mainly search engines, so you know, Google being Yahoo. Uh, Yahoo actually doesn't use uh, too much of a web crawler. They, they do have one, but they mostly aggregate data from uh, Bing. Anyway, um, other things like data archival organizations, a uh, pretty big one is archive.org, uh, uses a web crawler. And uh, some social networks like Twitter, Facebook use a form of a web crawler to fetch uh, metadata on pages that are linked to in tweets and Facebook posts and things like that. Uh, if you ever see a tweet or a Facebook post that's got um, that's formatted uh, very nicely, it either has uh, usually some like uh, open graph data in it or some Twitter card metadata uh, in there. Anyway, so um, you may have heard these other terms. Uh, web spider, crawler, web bot, those are all the same thing as a web crawler. Uh, things like indexing, scanning, or web scraping are, are not the same thing as a web crawler. They're, they're very similar in some cases, uh, but they're not the same thing. Um, 
So as a web crawler and you're, you're crawling around the web and you're, you're visiting all these websites, there's got to be some way for the website owner to uh, tell all these different bots, okay, here's where you can go, here's where you can't go. And that way is robots.txt file, uh, which is just a file that's found in the root directory of almost all websites. You know, if you go to google.com slash robots.txt or wikipedia.com slash robots.txt or facebook.com slash robots.txt, you'll, you'll find a file uh, that looks like this on all of those sites. Um, <clears throat> But basically, you can just use the syntax in there to block uh, specific crawlers or all crawlers uh, from certain areas of your website or, or allow them in certain areas of the website. Uh, one of the really good things about robots.txt is it's got a very uh, non-strict syntax, I found. So in the example uh, there, I like to upper or, um, capitalize all of the first level, uh, letters in each line. But uh, you don't need to do that. You could have those be lowercase. You could just remove all the comments there. You don't have to add spaces in between all of these. Um, you know, it's it's a very kind of loose syntax. There's really not much you can do to mess it up. You you uh, can have the uh, the value sit right next to the colon, or you could put a space there. Uh, it's it's really quite loose. Uh, so let's say you kind of you, you, you want to take a look at some web crawlers, see what other people have done. Uh, here's here's some examples that I've used in the past. Uh, Yelp, which is a web crawler written in PHP. Uh, Nolch, which is uh, written in Java by the Apache Foundation. And then there's Scrappy, which is a Python web crawler. Uh, all of these are open source. And uh, you know you can peek inside and see what they're doing and how they're doing it and all that fun stuff. So when you have a web crawler, you have to find a way to prioritize the content that you're crawling. Now what this means is w with a web crawler, you don't want a random sampling of the internet. Uh, you want some way to know which websites are going to be relevant for the uh, specific type of data that you're going to be crawling for. Um, some examples of these things are uh, Googlebot, which uses PageRank, or other bots that might use uh, fresh content or high quality content as a signal uh, for which websites they should crawl more, uh, more often, more content from. Uh, so if you're if you're interested in web crawlers, here are the some of the topics that you might look into. I've got videos on all three of these. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.